Well, here we are, Stars fans, on the banks of the beautiful Yarra River in Melbourne, and I'm joined by James Faulkner and Peter Hanscom from the Melbourne Stars, and uh, they'll be doing the 30-minute barbecue challenge for us. They'll be getting a mystery bag each, and uh, I'll be judging. Uh, it'll be on the, the presentation of the food and also the taste, so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what these boys can come up with. All right, here we are, Jimmy. Jimmy, what do we got here, mate? Let's have a bit of a look. We've got fish to start with. Looks like a little bit of fish. This one I just caught earlier out of that river. What else have we got in there? A little bit of capsicum. Oh, capsicum. Brilliant. What else? Lemon. A bit of lemon. Yep, perfect. That goes well with fish. Some spuds. Some spuds as well. That's extraordinary. All right, mate. What are you going to do with them in 30 minutes, do you think? That's a good question. <laughs> Not really sure. You're going to need a little bit of time to think. I reckon you've got about five minutes up your sleeve there. So we'll go over and check what Pete's got. All right, Pete, what have we got here, mate? Let's have a look. Hopefully you've got a bit more luck than uh, Jimmy with Sorry the fish. Oh, the steak. Always good. How good's that? Barbie challenge, you want some steak, don't you? What else you got in there, mate? Oh, you got a capsicum as well, yep. Nice and easy, bit of onion. Bit of onion in there. What's in that? A loaded brown paper bag. What do you got in there? Let's have a bit of a look. Oh, some mushies as well, mate. You're firm as the early favourite, I think. What do you reckon? 30 minutes with a bit of that. 30 minutes. Game on, mate. Game on? All right, let's do it. Let's see what these boys can come up with. Okay, so the boys have got their ingredients. There's just a couple of last things that we're going to chuck in there as well. We've got the uh, the GoPros, boys. You're going to chuck these on your helmets when you're playing cricket. So we thought we'd bring them along today and uh, chuck them on the head and see what your, what your skills are like with the, with the GoPros as well. So they'll be on there. And the other thing is the mystery ingredients. I know you're scared, Jim, aren't you? We've got to use two out of the four of these mystery ingredients and I don't think they're going to go too well with what you boys have. Well, not that I'm a master chef, but uh, we've got the white cocktail onions. We've got the sun-dried tomatoes here. We've got the capers. And we've got the whole grain mustard as well. So you guys have got to use two out of that. So we'll see what you can come up with. But uh, chuck these on, boys, and uh, I reckon we can nearly get started. What do you reckon? Sounds good, mate. All good? Let's get underway. Oh, mate, you're, uh, the same thing, you've got a lot of capsicum here, what's going on? Yeah. Not really, have you ever cooked with capsicum before? Not particularly, mate, I don't really, uh, I'm a bit of a food when it comes to it, to be honest. <laughs> I like my meat and a few veg, that's it, don't get into this. Well mate, you've got meat and a few veg there as well, so you should be right. Good luck, buddy. Right, Righto, mate, so you've got your spuds on. Yes, and uh, you've got your beautiful bit of fish here. What do you uh, What do you got for us here? Well, I brought these all the way from from Tassie, so I'm going to crack these <laughs> open. The baby cages. <laughs> a little bit of lemon. A little local lemon produce. Up. Oh, very nice. I'm squeeze that oh, that look too. at that, mate. That looks amazing. Yeah, I can't believe I actually have to eat this. I love the contrast between both meats. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's just cheap, mate. I love how you stack them on top of each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to eat that. I've got to eat that. Oh no. Oh look. He's actually pulled it together. Well, 
here we are, the end product right here. The boys have cooked up their feast, and you'll have to tune in next week to see who wins the challenge. Will it be Pete, or will it be Jimmy? You'll have to wait and find out.